What's going on YouTube? In this video, I want to go over the application and review of Colonite 845 Insulator Wax. Now, if you haven't heard about this wax, it's been around for ages and it's hailed as one of the better waxes out there for people who know about it. It's not readily available. I ordered it from Amazon. Um, this bottle right here cost me $18. It, it could be had for cheaper, but it lasts forever because it goes on so thinly and it's easy to use. So I'm going to show you how to use this wax. If you decide to get this wax, how to use it. And I'm going to, you know, spray the car with water so you can see the hydrophobic properties of the wax and give you some tips along the way. Before you apply the wax, just like you would do any other wax, you need to make sure that the surface of your car is ready to accept the wax. I've already washed this car and I've already clay barred it and it feels very smooth to the touch. So you need to be doing that. If your car is particularly bad, make sure you polish it before you do the wax. But this video is not about that. It's just about the wax. So I'm not going to go over that. But just know that before you apply the wax that you need to make sure your car is clean, free of dirt and road grime and bugs and whatnot. And preferably after you clay bar it and polish it. So you're going to notice right off the bat, it says heavy duty paste. And that's exactly how it comes in its natural state. It's a paste, right? You could definitely use it that way. You know, you give it a good shake, shake it very well, but it's much easier if you liquefy it some to either put it out in the sun while you prep the rest of the car or um, just dip it in, in a bucket of hot water for about 10 minutes and it'll liquefy it. So I went ahead and got the Colonite 845 out of the water. It only took about six minutes. And as you can see right there, it's very liquidy now. I don't know if you can see, but it's just basically a liquid now. Once you get to that point, shake it vigorously for you know 30 seconds or so. So once you get it to this point, we're ready to apply the wax. One of the reasons why I love this wax so much is the ease of application, basically. So uh, it goes on very thin. All you need is one coat. So it's kind of like my go-to wax if I just want to wax a car very quickly and just kind of forget about it. Um, what I do is I basically prime the applicator pad. So I'm just going to prime it in a few spots. Once you do that, you're not going to need this much. Once you do, once you prime it like this, all you're going to need is a little dot in the middle to do each panel. But just the initial to initially prime it with wax, I'm doing basically the the whole surface of the applicator and kind of let it go through. So with this wax, you want to buff it out once it starts drying. You don't have to let it dry that long. And the thicker you put on the coat, the harder it is to get out. So again, all you want is a very thin coat. The wax is non-abrasive, so you could do it in circles, so just be sure to apply even pressure when you do it. All we're looking for here is just a light, light coat. If you look at the car at an angle, you can see if you missed any spots. So I like to do about half the panel at a time. The wax is very forgiving, so you don't have to be you know, very anal about it. Uh, you can kind of just, you could, I could do this whole panel without having to go back. By the time I'm done doing that side, I can come back to this side and buff it. Um, but as you can see, that's all you need, just a light coat. While this side is drying, I'll go ahead and do the other side. So it's been about five minutes and it's starting to dry and haze over. So this is when you want to get it out. You don't have to let it dry completely. When it starts drying to this, this little haze that you kind of see now, that's when you want to uh, buff the wax out. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So just a, a clean microfiber towel.
So it took me about 30 minutes to do the entire car. I'm talking lights, windows, panels, everything. The entire car right now is covered in a film, a very thin layer of in, uh, insulator wax, Colonite 845. Months ago, I was gonna do a comparison video with, between these two. So I did, you know, the right side of the car I did with uh, new finish, and then the left side I did with Colonite 845. Uh, one thing turned into another, and I didn't end up making that video. However, I will never use this stuff again because this stuff dries into a powdery white, white like chalky substance. And if you have any imperfections on the paint at all, it adheres to it, and it's very hard to get out. That's work that I just don't need because there's other waxes that don't do that. So why should I bother with that? Um, this wax right here, if you use it, a couple things to keep in mind. You should uh, do a very thin layer, but make sure it's an even layer and that the entire panel is covered up. If you don't do that, you can end up with little blotchy areas when you're done wiping it off. So be sure that you have a thin, even layer before. This stuff works just like rain -X. And the same way that you apply it on the paint, you can apply it on your windows. Just wait for it to dry completely and then wipe it off. And then now you have protection on your windows and you don't have to buy a separate thing for your windows. It, it works great for that. As you can see, I didn't use much at all and I actually dropped it. So most of that that's missing is from dropping it on the ground. I used it that much. So this is gonna last me years. Now there's definitely better waxes out there, no doubt. But this wax provides really good hydrophobic properties and uh, you know decent shine and for the money and for how little and how easy it is to apply it's a workhorse and it's definitely it should be at the top of anyone's you know list of waxes especially if you want a quick wax that you can turn to time and time again to get a good finish and provide great protection year round as always i appreciate you watching please give the video a thumbs up if it was useful to you and if you haven't subscribed and you want to see more videos like this go ahead and subscribe thanks for watching take care